Good day kids! This is Master Melchor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's lesson, you are going to learn about the sense organs of the body. So at the end of this video, you should be able to describe the different sense organs and appreciate the importance of the different sense organs of the body and give the functions of the different sense organs of the body. So this is a very important lesson, so please watch until the end. Kids, I'm going to show you a picture of Helen Keller. So, do you know who's in this picture, kids? Alright, listen and I will tell you a story of Helen Keller. Helen Keller lived in a world of darkness and silence. She was blind and deaf. She could neither see nor hear. Yet, she became one of America's most famous authors and lecturers. She had a very good teacher, Anne Sullivan. Anne made Helen fill objects with one hand. Then she traced the word for each object into the palm of Helen's hand. Now let's have the comprehensive questions, kids. Number one. Who is Helen Keller? Very good. She was blind and deaf, and she could neither see nor hear. Number two, comprehensive question. Who was her teacher? Very good. Teacher Anne Sullivan. Number three, comprehensive questions. How did her teacher, Anne Sullivan, make her learn to read? and write. Very good. So she let Helen fill objects with only one hand. Then she traced the word for each object into the palm of Helen's hand. And last comprehensive question number four. What sense organ did she use? Very good. The sense of touch. Now kids, let's unlock the following words. What are the meaning of the following? Number one, organs. Very good. Organs derived from the Latin word organum, which means instrument. Number two, functions. So functions, this is kind of action or, or activity proper. And then the last word, sense organs. What comes to your mind, kids, when you hear the word sense organ? A sense organs, it is a specialized or structure such as nose, ear, tongue, um, eyes, and skin where sensory neurons are consecrated and that functions as a receptor. Now, kids, what is in the picture? Very good. The five senses of the human body. And what are they? Very good. They are the eyes, nose, tongue, ears, and skin. And what are the functions of each sense organ? The eyes is for? Very good. For seeing. How about the ears? The ears is for hearing. And the tongue is for tasting. And the nose is for the smelling. And lastly, the skin is for touching. So those are the five senses of the human body and the functions of each sense organs. Now kids, tell me which sense organs you will use to describe the following. Number one, the height of a building. Very good. Your 
eyes. Number two, the taste of ampalaya. Yes, your tongue. Number three, the texture of a silk cloth. Very good, the skin. Number four, the fragrance of sampagita. Very good, your nose. And then number five, the beautiful music. Yes, your ears. Okay, kids, number six, the heat of a hot pot. Very good, the skin. Number seven, the flavor of your mother's recipe. Yes, smell or your nose. And then number eight, the sound of the guitar. Very good, ears. Number nine, the color of your friend's eyes. Very good, eyes. And finally, number 10, the temperature in the bag in Baguio City. Very good, your skin. Thank you so much for your cooperation, kids. So again, what is sense organs? Very good. Sense organs, it is a specialized eye structure such as eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin where sensory neurons are concentrated and that functions as a receptor. Again, what are the five senses? Yes, they are the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. And how does each work? Your eyes is for seeing. Ears is used for hearing. Tongue is used for tasting. Nose is for smelling. And the skin is used for touching. Thank you so much kids. I hope you have learned something in this video. See you in my next vlog.